Hi, welcome to CIA News. My name is Luke Lin. I'd like to share the latest school news from Zhanghua County, Taiwan. We'll start today with a report about two schools' weekly Skype sessions. To create a better learning environment for studying English and making global friendships, Xizhou and Wanhe Elementary Schools have set up weekly Skype sessions with international volunteers. There are two major challenges with hosting regular Skype sessions. First, technical issues such as blurry or frozen images can occur. Second, preparing for weekly sessions takes a lot of time and hard work. The schools purchased good webcams and installed an extra high-speed internet line to optimize the video conferencing quality. This helped with the technical issues. As for the second problem, Xizhou Elementary screened their students and chose those that are self-motivated. The school's English teacher provides the following Skype volunteer the class syllabus for this semester. Each Skype session covers that week's English lesson, and the students are able to practice the week's lesson with the volunteer. Also, the publishers of the English lessons provide many additional teaching materials and aids. Teachers have maps, flashcards, and pictures to use in teaching the children. Now, during the 20-minute break every Friday morning, students at Shijo Elementary have a lot of fun talking to their new friend Cody Zimmerman, a college student who studies at the University of Wisconsin at Stevens Point. Since Cody is also learning Mandarin Chinese, it is a, a great help too. Let's take a look at one of their sessions. Today we will talk about Thanksgiving Day. I hope you will like today's to topic. I well, my name is Cody. I'm a college student in Wisconsin, the United States. And this is my mom. And the reason my mom is here today is because today in the U.S. we celebrate Thanksgiving. So I went home and met with my mom and the rest of my family. And we all had a really big dinner where we had turkey and mashed potatoes and a bunch of food like that. Popcorn? Oh, um, when I go to the movies, I usually buy popcorn there for watching movies and movie theaters. At Wonder Elementary, they are doing cultural and language exchanges with a group of homeschoolers in Michigan. The homeschoolers and their mom, Emily Fairchild, live on a hobby farm. They have many interesting topics about their farm to share with our students. They have talked about Halloween, line dancing, Thanksgiving, and farm animals. Let's check out part of their session. When they got off the boat, they met the Indians. The fifth graders here and their young American friends are experiencing the excitement of making new friends and sharing with each other their own culture. Wanher's model is a good example of how exchanges like this can help create a win-win situation for students here and those in other parts of the world. The students, teachers, and the volunteers deserve a big round of applause for a job very well done.